Hi, I'm Ken Ueno, one of the composers involved in the Color Theory Project, a very exciting project with the Prism Saxophone Quartet and the Parch Ensemble. Uh, welcome to my office here at UC Berkeley, where I'm a professor of music composition. Um, I've been working hard here on this piece. It's about halfway done. I hope you'll, you'll like it when it comes out. There are many challenges to working on this piece. Um, some of you might know that Harry Parch is um, one of the maverick composers of the 20th century. He invented his own instruments uh, in order to facilitate the performance of his concept of harmony, which is um, a 43-note scale, but an adaptation of just intonation. It's exciting for me because uh, Besides being a composer, I'm also um, a vocalist specializing in what's called extended techniques. And some of them include uh, throat singing. And overtone singing. These sounds higher sounds and the lower sounds. The higher sounds are interval uh, ratios of the lower sounds called natural overtones and these sounds are um, in regular Western classical parlance called microtones but they're actually more attuned to nature and Harry Parch's concept of harmony brings us back to a more organic real nature it's essentially a harmonic principle about truth in nature. And his instruments are beautiful, and they help us get back to that realization. Nowadays, I might compare it to also like high definition television compared to what would be normally performable on the piano. And uh, besides my work as a vocalist, inspired by my work as a vocalist and singing natural overtones, which I love. A lot of my work, harmonically, my orchestral work and chamber works have been incorporating just intonation, as well as other kinds of microtones as well, which this piece will also feature. Another important aspect of my work is uh, hacking instruments and inventing new instruments, and of course these things, these aspects were the largest inspiration is Harry Parch, and uh, rather than just adapt to the wonderful instruments and try to re uh, realize a piece um, within just what's available with the saxophone quartet and the Parch ensemble is given, uh, in my piece I'm also interested in thinking about expanding the instrumental palette within it too, because I think it's the most appropriate in terms of the spirit of Harry Parch. So, um, the saxophone contingent will also include a thing that I've been developing called the hookah sax. It's not what you think. It's just an alto saxophone with a long tube inserted in between it so that it can play really low sounds. And taking the concept of uh, one of the part on, uh, instruments called the adapted guitar number two, um, I have asked John Schneider the intrepid and uh, visionary leader of the Parch Ensemble, who's also the guitarist, to uh, play, to make and play for me an electronic version, um, electric guitar version of the adaptive guitar, uh, which will make available some of the higher partials and uh, some distortion and other timbre effects that I'm interested in, as well as a whammy um, tremolo thing, bending notes, yeah. Uh, it's going to be cool, and um, that's pretty much it, I think.